Right, these files keep turning green every time we upload. I wasn't planning on making a uh, a video for about us building this dyno. It was sort of like an improv video. Uh, but I took enough photos and clips and stuff of it that I thought, you know, that I'd uh, show us building it. So my dad, me and my dad got some angle on and we were going to start building our own homemade dyno. We've seen a few clips online and we thought we would have a go. So uh, this is just building the basic frame. Um, you can see that obviously we've cut out all the pie shapes on the uh, chop saw there and laid it all out. Uh, we went for a full length on even though we're going to be doing mostly mini bike stuff on it. We thought, do you know what, if we're going to do it, we'll do it once and once only. Uh, there's me chopping up some shit. Um, that was me tacking up and wound it all in place. Um, we were quite happy with it to be honest. It was a lot of hard day that was, a big day putting all that together. Um, and then we're putting the upright legs in. Uh, like I said, this wasn't really planned as a video, but I thought I took enough clips and everything else, and I thought, you know what, I will, I will um, post a video on it. But to be honest, I, I really apologise for the uh, the photo clips have been panned out on the black sides, but come off our mobile phones and stuff. So this is just uh, drilling the hole for the hole sensor for the pickup for the roller. Uh, the roller itself is made of lead um, and it's got like an aluminium shield on it and that's about 30 kilos uh, it's bastard heavy um, here's my man here we're just drilling a hole and we're going to tap and die that and that'll put a bolt in the actual sprocket of the drive so that can now be picked up by the hall sensor these bearings were a right nightmare to get one of them was it was been machined AF one side and Imperial uh, metric on one side so we're just uh, messing about here having a Spin up with the dyno. This is the Arduino, so this is the electrical side of it. So this is the micro uh, microcontroller, and that is the Arduino board made by another guy that uh, runs a YouTube channel. Uh, so basically there's the RPM sensor, the voltage, the current temps and everything else you can pick up off the Arduino board. I put it inside a, a PC, a, a, pl a plastic uh, polyurethane box. They're all the components you need to build the Arduino controller. Um, that's basically a, a quick schematic and diagram of everything that the uh, Arduino needs. Uh, same, that's basically the, the technical drawing out for all the electronics for the actual roller itself. Uh, that's the PC running a basic software that we get and there's the Arduino sitting on top um, this is the actual dyno software we can I'll go into it a bit more depth once we've got it all in but basically that's the uh, the computer software with the dad's cafe on it looking nice it's gonna need fully painting and put on there's my jigsaw on it uh, you see you can get plenty of probably almost put a chopper on that it's that big uh, that was the plan though so that we could put full-size bikes on it eventually Look at that, look at that mug. Then we finally got mixed stacks on. And uh, mixed stacks was the first bike to spin a wheel on it. Uh, we had a problem here where it kept going off to one side, but it turned out to be mixed back axle rather than the actual dyno. We were guessing, we were going, oh, it ain't level or it's something like that, but no, it, 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 it sorted itself out. And here's some of the first car runs. Sick. Does sound good. Watch your liquor flame in a minute. Yeah. So that's it, that's the uh, end of our rough dyno build, like I say it's still going in, we're still building this, it's still going to be painted and it's still going in the dyno room, we're still building the actual dyno room for this, uh, but it will come up in the channel, um, so follow us and, uh, and we'll show you some updates once we've got the dyno all fitted in.